The Three Hairs and Other Memories Poems by Aaron Erickson Narrated by Jonathan Zeiger Jalapeno Publishing Part 1 The Three Hairs Three hairs sharing three ears Yet every one of them has two 1. The First Gate One autumn night, on crumbling surface, we counted four million holes, blackened pits looming like a silhouette of souls. Leached from Earth's crusty furnace, no time to count them all, on the road to Satanif. Once a post for the conspicuous and colorful, this pale attracted poet and reader alike. Amidst barren fields surrounding this shtetl, we found ourselves, not surprisingly in the married life, searching for the poet born here. Each disintegrating hole echoed, four centuries drenched in ink. Kmelnitsky's uprising, Cossack's pyre, buried alive, cut to pieces, forced to kill. Horrors covered the steps like dust. Fertile ground revives the tree of life. The revival of Hasidism foretells the return of the Messiah, the teachings of Lion Ashkenazi, and the arrival of the poet king. Yet murder begets the elders' banning. Wedding celebrations, fire dances, and masquerades. Frank's followers accused of religious orgies were sentenced to 400 lashes. Rescued from pogroms, they return only to find their homes looted and Holodomor on the horizon. Even comic entertainers lost their sense of humor in those days. The Germans captured the town in 41. Several Jews were shot to death then, while the gendarmerie locked 200 into a mournful cellar. Women, children, and the old died by suffocation and starvation. 180 Jews shot near the old synagogue the final few taken to Yarmolinsky, where they too were shot. With no one left to celebrate, Satanif was liberated by the Red Army in 44.